Welcome back to Pathologic Classic HD. It's 7.25 in the morning on day 8. We've got two quests so far. The main quest is Subterranean Rot, which is related to the fact that we think the plague might have come from a subterranean source. One that could be accessed through this well that little Vlad has extremely suspiciously filled in. So we need to find an ally to help us against the Olgimskis, and apparently that ally is probably going to be Aspidy since she hates the Olgimskis. I don't actually know what she's going to do to help me, but apparently I need to talk to her. And the other quest that I have is the Panacea Black Market. Yeah, apparently the worms have been making a fake panacea in the termitary. So I need to go try to stop them. So I guess I'll go speak with Aspidy. Try to get some food along the way, or after. And then head over to the termitary while I'm in the area after speaking with her. Sounds good to me. Yeah, uh, I guess there's no food actually along the way to Aspidy's place. Depending on which route I take. But I do know that there's a food store here and here. So at least when I go to the termitary, there'll be two food stores nearby. So that shouldn't be much of a problem. Yeah, what route do I want to take? I guess just go across the train tracks, probably. Then over to Aspidy's place. That sounds good. Let's do it. Noticing, like, bloody piles of clothes on the ground all over the place. I think those are covered bodies. Okay, we're out of the infection. Oh god. Oh god. You know what that means, right? Aspidy's dead. The executors only show up outside of the doors of important people that have died. She's dead. She wasn't on my list of adherents, right? No, good. This person is sick. No, don't blame yourself. That's not your fault. One of your rival counterparts must have overlooked them. Or left them on purpose. Nevertheless, no entry. It's under quarantine. I keep a sorrowful watch. Can't they be helped? Even being one of the bound, they're just an ordinary person. They can be cured, just like any other. You're the healer here. It's your area of expertise. Hmm. 
I only need to speak to them. Through the door, maybe. The infected is unconscious. The development of the disease is uneven, sure. And this person can resist it longer than a commoner would. But there will be no talking. Unless you offer them a good antibiotic. Uh, that could bring them back to life for a while. Yes, that is an option, even though it's temporary. Whoa. You've changed your tone. A victim of your carelessness is behind this door. A victim of your negligence, of a doctor's duty. Okay, so I can give them antibiotics, which will make them feel better for a little bit. Or I can give them the schmouter and completely cure them. Yeah, some people in the comments for the, the previous videos were saying that schmouter is extremely important later on in the game. This must be the sort of moment that they're important for. I guess certain important people will fall sick, just like Aspidy, and you need the Schmouter to cure them. And I guess you don't need the Schmouter to talk with them, I suppose I could just give them a normal antibiotic, but if I do that, and they're not cured for good. So they'll probably just end up dying later, I'm guessing. The Schmouter, I think, will keep them alive for the whole game, I guess? Hopefully, or at least they're not going to die from an infection. They might die some other way. Either way, that means I need to be on the lookout for Schmouter. I think I've seen it tradable with the children once or twice. But if I ever see it again, I need to buy it. If at all possible, I need to buy it. Because who knows when the next person I try to talk to that I need to talk to needs Schmouter to get better. What if the next person is part of my adherence? Then I have to help them. Yeah, anyway, I have a box with the children's schmouter. It could help. This? This will cripple them for the rest of their life. It will burn all their insides along with the plague. Are you sure you want to save them from the disease at this cost? Uh... I don't think they have much of a choice. It's their best chance. Yes, give it to them. Can I go inside now? Guess so. Did it take it from me? Yep, it did. I didn't actually just kill her, did I? No. She's alive. Pins are sticking out of the pores of my skin. That bitch. She has us all over a barrel. Sir freaking prize. I can tell her to stop swearing. I think we're fucking past the point where we can worry about fucking swearing. I think about like 2,000 people have died at this point. It's kind of the least of our problems. Who are you talking about? I know all the local bitches alright. None of them can surprise me. Although... There are dark fibers stirring in Maria. But I'm talking about our yesterday's sweetheart. Yeah. Impressive. Sabarov, the up-and-coming tyrant, has been diminished to a crawl. That's good. Olgimsky, the two-tongued asshole, has been exposed. That's a pleasure. The Canes? Well, I hope they strangle each other without external help. Life's getting better by the hour. Hmm. I can tell her that I'm fond of her. Am I? I don't think I really am. She just seems rather unpleasant. Although the fact that she's taking so much pleasure in the, the downfall of the ruling families is, I suppose, a good thing. Because I'm not exactly fond of the ruling families myself. Let's see where this goes. I'd like you to know that I'm quite fond of you, Aspidy. What's with the flattery? You think I don't imagine your excruciating death in the sweetest of my dreams? Well, that just reminded me why I didn't like you that much. Let's hope she's just... Let's hope she's not being serious. I think you don't. 
I don't like you. Let Aglaia, the prettiest of the Inquisitors, do that. Fine. How do I get to the abattoir? What? Thanks for the help. He who distrusts himself is better off silent. Aspidy, say, do you by any chance know what Vlad the Younger was digging out? Ah, the leech won't crack. Think he's the smartest. And also he seems to think that he can get out of this deal, and that well with his hands and name clean. But that's fine. I know how to make him talk all right. How? It's simple. Just reveal to the world all those thousands of lives that have perished in a few days because of him. And to think that I, a simple girl that I am, blamed the father. Shame. What a shame. What are you talking about? It was he who ordered to close down the termitary. He hid the truth from his father, blamed it all on some imaginary strike. He knew how to get to the old man, to make him mad, to make him damn everyone inside. Wait, I thought Big Vlad knew about the disease. He found out eventually, of course. Took the fall for the air. He's done. He's old. He doesn't care about additional strains on his tired conscience. Whereas his son has a town yet to rule. And to be popular with. That's essential to ruling. Ah, oh, wow. Little Vlad, you scheming bastard. Has Vlad the Younger even had that kind of power? He is a nimble one, the youngling. He crawled into the kin's heart like a snake, got us webbed, got to know us. He started talking to wardens. Oh yeah, he had that kind of power. Well, now he'll tell me everything I'd want to know. That'll sour his arrogant attitude quite a bit. Now I definitely have something to discuss with Vlad the Younger. Oh god, I forgot about this. Hello, you beast of a town. Your changeling has a haughty attitude. Seems like she knows something. Shabnakadir is tracing the streets like bacteria in a vein. Like bacteria in a vein, she says. Well, you know, it does seem like we're inside of a creature. It wouldn't surprise me if you are more literally correct than you might think. God, now I'm just thinking about the fact that we're in some way inside or part of a creature. Like this whole town is a creature and I'm inside of it and I'm just a bacteria myself or something. I just keep thinking about it again and again and again. Anyway. The whole thing proved to be a trivial affair, but no less terrifying for it. When Isidore informed the Olgimskis of the impending outbreak, it was the younger who did what the elder did not dare to. But as the consequences became known, it was the father who shielded his son from the ramifications. A double deceit. This being known, I am in a strong position to speak with the Olgimskis. Okay, well, while I am here and near the termitary, I'm going to go to these two food stores to get some food, and also see if I can do the Panacea Black Market quest. Hopefully this time I can actually go inside the termitary. Please don't throw firebombs at me, please don't throw firebombs at me, please don't throw firebombs at me! Ah, I'm good. He's too far away. Whoa! 
You have no food? What the hell? Okay, that's not good. Alright, well, there's another store up here. Please tell me you have food? Okay, good. Ah, it's fresh, though. Hmm. Should I buy it anyway? It's kind of a waste of money. Not to mention the fact that it's fresh is scary. Although I believe it doesn't actually have any negative effects. It's still kind of scary. Um... Yeah, I'm going to buy it. Okay, to the termitary. Please tell me I can go inside. Please, please, please. Okay, finally. What is this place going to look like? Oh. Oh. You are... Attacking me? Or not? I can't... No? No, they're not attacking me. Okay. I've been wanting to get inside the Terminary for so long. I really want to check this place out. You're not going to try to attack me, are you? Doesn't seem to be any infection inside of here. Right, so they've been cutting the hearts out. Using it to make their so-called panacea. Oh, that one looks like it has its heart cut out. Is it? Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Young Barack, have you been helping them? There's nothing to talk about now. Yes, there is. The Inquisitor has turned her gaze to the abattoir. No good will come of it. You shouldn't have come, Onion. It's dangerous here. You're not used to dealing with them. Brewers of fake panacea are holed up somewhere here in the termitary. Do you know anything about that? What? Someone's making a fake panacea in here? But this is... Yes, an inconceivable villainy. Have you maybe noticed anything suspicious? Hold on a second. Some odong on the second floor asked for corpses of the freshly dead. They seem to be looking for someone they knew. I took no notice back then. Apart from that, newcomer tramps went around looking for some room along that wall across the entrance. It dangled money. Which room? On the second floor as well? Damned if I know. I had a short way with them. Wait, what is this? Oh, right. Is that them under the sheet? What? What? <laughs> what does that even mean? Just wash your hands of it. What are you doing here, Brock? I went to the abattoir and came back with something of value. Listen to me, Onion. If my oh my god, there's I just heard a scream in the background. If my hope proves to be true, we'll have a serum by tomorrow. That's some news. So what was that thing you came back with? Blood. Blood again. I'm not ready to say where I got it, but it may very well be what Stock worked on. 
only better. It's still alive. Look if it has... you know? What? Antibodies? Yes, antibodies. You already know what living bacteria look like, as well as dead ones. Stock told me all about that. I think it won't be too hard for you to establish what this blood does to the infection. Whose blood is this, Barak? I can't tell you. Hmm. Fine, fine, alright, I'll have a look. Where do I find you? <laughs> Why do these conversations end with a question and then nobody says anything? I don't get it. I think I have a fever. Or oh, maybe not. Um, can we do this again? What are you doing here? What was that thing? Antibodies? So you just want me to examine this blood under a microscope, just that. If you study this blood, Onion, tomorrow I'll hand you a dose of functional panacea. And if you prove this is the blood we need, might be I hand the panacea to you today. I trust your word. Is this convincing enough for you? It is. Where do I find you? I'll be around here. Still have a hell of a lot to do. If there's trouble, I'll let you know. Then we should meet in the in that basement under the corpulent workshop. Hmm. Okay, better write this down just in case it doesn't tell me. Basement of Corpulent Workshop. Got it. Alright. Okay, did you actually give it to me this time? Alright, thank you. Got no room. What do I dump? I guess I don't need the lens, because I've already upgraded my thing as much as possible. Yes. Yeah, I guess I'll I guess I'll dump the lens. So that's the blood, right? Barack file. Barack gave me this blood-like substance to check. Okay, I'll examine it. What happened with the quest? Ah, it is another side quest. The vial that Barack gave me is strangely heavy and warm to the touch. I wonder what is inside. I need to study the contents under the microscope immediately. I'm ble Changeling spoke to the foreman. Could it be that he had accepted her as one of his kind? Tell me, how do I get inside the abattoir? The gates are blocked with boulders from the inside. When the time comes, butchers roll them aside. You can find a way in after that. Wait for the right moment. And when are the boulders rolled aside? At what time? There's some kind of regularity, but I haven't cracked it yet. Tried to squeeze it out of the Mother Superior, but she's only fooling around. I can never understand if she's serious or not. Wait, who's the Mother Superior? Are they going to be opened today? There's a massive Butcher feud inside. They're fighting each other. Something displeased them quite a bit. I might have played a part in it, I'm afraid. The Mother Superior claims that everything should quiet down after midnight. Maybe about two o'clock they'll roll away the boulder, blocking the main entrance. They'll let you in after that, if the Mother allows it. Okay, I'm gonna write this down as well. 2 a.m. Boulders. Okay. Why are they fighting? Yesterday, after they were released, they had a council of sorts. Today, they split in half. Some demand the foreman's death. Others, it seems, want to have their way with Olgimsky. In all honesty, I'm confused and don't have the slightest idea what's happening. The mother says there's a fierce battle in there. Can I just say something? The butcher's coming out of the abattoir. The fact that the Herespex says today they split in half. 
some want one thing, some want another thing. I might be just reading too much into this, but I'm starting to think of things more from the perspective of being inside of a creature. Since it seems like this entire town is modeled after a creature, or that we are indeed inside of a creature, that the entire town is living. The fact that he says, today the butchers split in half, makes me think of like, cells dividing or something like that, or some sort of an immune reaction. Where like the body is fighting itself and not sure what to do or something. Not sure how to defeat the disease that's inside of it. Anyway, but have you been to the termitary before? Yes, I have. But don't ask me who led me in. What are you afraid of? I'm not afraid of anything. But way too many people died right in front of me these last few days. Not of the plague, but rather by malicious will of those too keen to execute their idea of justice. You know what I mean. Yes, I understand. There's nothing to talk about now. Let's see. I think this is the end of our conversation. It's dangerous everywhere. Yep. Okay, that's it. Okay, so look at the blood or whatever that stuff is under a microscope. I can do that later. For now, we still need to find where the black market is inside of here. So let's keep moving and let's try to find it. It's a large place and finding it might be hard, but we got plenty of time. It's 9 in the morning. It's dismally dark in here. Let's do this carefully. Check there. Check there. It sounded like it was on the second floor, but maybe I should not assume that. Jesus Christ, this place is huge. It should be pretty obvious when I find the room. What? What the hell? What's in there? can cure their pain. I'm sorry. I don't know if I can spare the drugs. I might need them soon. Yeah, what? It's covered... Something. Something huge is covered with bloody tarps. It's probably on the second floor. Jesus Christ, there's so many floors. It's alright. It's alright. We'll find it. We'll find it. Look, some of it's even strung up. What is inside of those bags? Oh? There we go. Oh yeah, that's it. <clears throat> Can we talk, or are they going to attack me? Okay. Peace to you, Onion. Peace to you. Live and let live. So say the wise. Don't try to sweet-talk me, Morlock. I don't know what the hell a Morlock is. Uh, that didn't do anything. Uh, here you are, you can of worms. So, can I place an order? You're more than welcome. We're not asking much. Merely 30,000. But for you, Onion, it's free. Dead gruel. Never better. All the rot comes out. All the evil hexes come off. Oh yes, my good man. Merely 30,000, huh? Are you sure you're not underselling, mate? Ah, uh, Onion, have mercy. Let us be. We won't sell anything anymore. Won't cook the gruel. You let us live. You don't turn us into the mother. We tell you an interesting something, then. You'll be pleased. Ah, 
I am going to say this misspelled line with the most determination I possibly can. Speak then. If I line what I hear, I won't give you away. We are guilty. The Booses, <laughs> however you say that, the Booses' son is twice as guilty. We just fool around and mess about. He, he's buying up the real panacea. Bought it from everyone who got one from Barak. Took from everyone, has it for himself. Shoot him, Onion. Threaten him, rob him. Take his panacea for yourself. Thank us. Really, little Vlad? Where did he get real panacea? Only Barak can make panacea. Only Barak knows the lines. Barak gave his vials to... Bodo's children. Gave to the Bus. The Bus' son took it all to sell to evil people. To bloodsuckers. For iron and gold. Have mercy on us, Oinion. Let us go. Never again. Until the earth takes us back. So little Vlad, the swarm is claiming that little Vlad is the one who bought up all the panacea and is selling it just for money. Hmm. That is a very interesting piece of information and it should give me even more ammunition to use against him when I go back to see him. I do like what you've told me, worm. Fine. I'll tell the mother about this room, though. You have half an hour to get lost for good. Okay. Do you think there's anything else of interest in this place? I mean, there's so many floors. I'm damn curious. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to take a look around and see if I can find anything of interest, and I'll be right back. I found a door. Um... Is that the Mother Superior? <laughs> I think that is. Here he is! Here he comes! Listen, everyone. This is the doctor. He came from outside. Will you do me a favor? Gladly. Will you let me into the abattoir, then? Will you bring me the person that got us all locked in here when everybody got sick? And what would happen to that person? Well, I want to ask him why he had us locked up, and then ask him some more. It doesn't take a genius to see that you're going to kill him. No, we're not going to kill him. We'll take him. I refuse. If you do what I'm asking of you, I'll open the passage to the abattoir for you. Well, the person responsible for getting the termitary locked up is little Vlad, right? At this point, given what he's done, I honestly wouldn't mind giving him up all that much. Well, I can always just take this quest, and if I change my mind, fine. That changes things. Wait here, I'll be back. I just wanted to have a little chat with you. Please tell your servants to relax. They are not servants. They keep me out of harm's way. 
fine. Were you here when the epidemic broke out? A pandemic? When people get got sick and began to die. Of course I was here. If not for me, everyone who's upstairs would also be sick and dead. I was here, so there wasn't a mother superior in the other building. That's why everyone's dead there. Oh. So she goes in between buildings. How did it all start? It's a secret. The old man says it began with noxious clots rising from beneath the ground. The old man is Isidore, right? Yes, him. Was anyone sick around here before he had come to the termitary? Of course. Why would he come otherwise? Okay. So Isidore was not the original carrier. Now that's news. Yes? Uh, well, we already talked about this, but just in case. Taya, I want the abattoir passage to be unlocked immediately. Passage closed. It's forbidden to go there today. Why? It's dangerous inside. That's fine. I'm not afraid. But I am. It is not to be opened. Today is a festive day. There's a beast inside. What? It is not to be talked about. Go away. You've asked many questions already. Alright. Alright. So I'm guessing that's another side quest, right? Uh, wait. No, it's not a side quest? No, it's part of the main quest. Okay. What remains of the kin, those who were so large in number, but are now regrettably scarce, still follow the whims of one little girl. This little girl now demands the surrender of whoever caused the wholesale death that took place in the termitary. Her intentions are clear, but what am I to do next? This is the question. Indeed, I guess we'll know more once we speak to little Vlad, but I've got a feeling I'm going to be giving him up to her. Okay, so I've got to remember that Taya's office, or whatever you want to call that place, is on the third floor. The floor that has all these burning lanterns? They're not really lanterns, whatever the hell they are. Alright, I'm going to check the rest of this place out, and I'll be right back. I wasn't able to find anything else of interest. And in fact, even though this place looks huge, and it is huge, you actually can't go to the upper floors above this floor where I just spoke with with Taya, because both entrances that go up on this side and on the other side are blocked by boxes. So let's leave this place. Okay. Well, would you look at that. Vlad the Younger has entered the Panacea Market. The man won't let a single penny past his purse. It occurs to me that he is no better than bad grief. I need to find out how he set up his trade. Could it be the worms trying to frame him for their own profiteering? Hmm. You know what? Maybe I should speak with Barack again. Not that I know more about what was going on in here as far as the Panacea Black Market. Yeah, maybe Barack could tell me something. Probably not, but just in case, while I'm in the area, I might as well. Just... In that case, who do I go to, to find out, to find out more? To young Vlad himself? 
Well, I guess we're gonna go there next anyway. We've got many things to talk with him about. Right, um, anywhere else to stop? I need to look at that sample under a microscope. I need to speak with Vlad. That's pretty much it. Look at the sample under a microscope and speak with Vlad. Uh, there's a microscope at Ruben's place. And at my place back at Ava's. Where should I go? Um, I do want more food, though, so I don't think I want to go back the way I came. Because if I go back the way I came, then I'm just gonna... Yeah, I'm not gonna find any new food stores. But if instead I go across to the knots and then go south, I should find some places that sell food. I think this one sells food, and I think this one sells food, too. So let's do that. Let's go west and go to the knots. And while we're going there, we might as well visit the Sabarovs, see if they have anything new to say. Check for any needles that we can trade with in here. Nothing. Ooh. Oh god. I thought I avoided it. Damn it. Okay, now I really need to get rid of my infection. I need to take some antibiotics. Ah, oh, and I don't think my health is high enough to take antibiotics. I think I'm gonna have to sleep. I will restore the order here, rest assured. My chest hurts. The rabble is completely- Nothing new there. Uh, do I have any bandages? Yes, I do. Okay. Good. In that case, I can take antibiotics. Which one? Can I take the most harmful ones? Yeah. Yeah, okay, that's fine. Now my infection is super, super low. Exhaustion... Oh, that increased my exhaustion a bunch, didn't it? Hmm. Hmm. In that case... I should probably... Should I take some Twyrine? Extract? Yeah, let's do it. Let's take a couple Meridorm, which I'm now low on. And let's just friggin' sleep. Let's sleep for another hour. Health, pretty good. Immunity, pretty good. Hunger high, once again, exhaustion low, infection low. Okay, that's, yeah, that's pretty good. I hope I, I hope those three hours aren't too much time, though, to take out of the day. Hmm. We will see if I come to regret that. Also, we received a letter. Note from Ion. Strange guests are walking all around your house. I am uneasy around them. Please come back soon. Okay, so I need to go back to Ava's place at some point. Gotcha. I really need to trade with kids. I need more Meridorm. I need... What do I need? I guess I just mostly need Meridorm, bandages, food. And Schmouter. I 
should I go talk with... With the... What's her name? Katerina? Yeah, Katerina Zabrov. Nah. Probably not worth it. food stores. That is a food store. That is a food store. Yes, dried fish. Food store is this one. Is that? <gasps> That's a child, my savior! Please come here, child. You have things I need, probably. I need to trade so bad. That's one of the few things I don't need. I really don't need immunity boosting things, because I have one more Twirine extract in my inventory, which basically gives me full immunity, I think. And I've got like two or three more ones stored back at Ava's place. So I actually genuinely just do not need that. More children. Oh, and I'm so close to Lara's place. I should probably go speak with her. Revolver ammo, gladly. Also, I think she has something new to say. Uh, what is it, my fair lady? Do you have any nuts? Why are you looking for nuts? First of all, you can play with them. And now you can eat them, too. <laughs> Didn't you eat nuts before? Well, would we eat you? Of course we wouldn't. And you're obviously nuts, too. Ha ha ha, good joke. Eating nuts, it's like eating your kitten. It's what? It's like eating your kitten of you stamps collection. What? It is like eating your kitten of you stamps collection. I don't understand what that's supposed to mean. It's like eating your kitten of your stamps collection? That doesn't make any sense either. I... what? Okay. Every nut is a story. A chronicle of adventures. They even have names. But recently, we've we've begun to eat them. We have to choose each time which of them goes. Oh no, they have to choose who they're going to sacrifice. Because each one has a name, it's like eating a person. Where I come from, nuts are ground into flour by the hundreds, to be added into honey or a sauce. I can see she's found that fascinating. Judging by the fact that she instantly walked away. Ooh, so much ammo. Yes. Tomorrow, this place will be crawling with soldiers. Oh, what will become of us? And every new rumor I hear contradicts the previous one. If Aglaya Lilich tells the truth, then we may be in luck. There are dark rings under your eyes. Dogs are howling. Why? Wait, did I actually stop into this food store over here? I don't think I ever did. No, I was distracted by children. Youths. They hypnotize me. <laughs> mm, 
nothing. New letter. The Har Haruspex's choice. The truth reveals itself to me, Oinion. I have claimed my father's grievous inheritance. I have made my choice. I believe that the settlement can be saved. It is alive. The kin still lives, even though my father, who was destined to lead it, has died. The kin is nourished and sustained by the earth, the earth that knows how to breathe. A new harvest may be nurtured here. I devote my life to service of the kin, just as the lines of my family enjoin me to. I will change this town. It will be reborn to live anew. Victoria, Ulgimskaya, the White Mistress, will breathe life into it. The fallen families will be replaced by those marked by the sign of the spirits. Children they are. Taya Taichik, Chieftain Notkin, Blessed Grace. Urchins murky and sticky, and possibly one more whom I did not yet get to meet. He goes by the name of Khan. Oh, that's the one in the polyhedron. If they survive, so will the town. If you want the town to live, just like I do, then help me, or at least don't interfere with my actions. Woe is you if any one of the children dies, for they are meant to inherit the earth. Artemy Barak, the Herespex. I keep thinking about everything on just so many different levels. The fact that this place is alive, the fact that the old is going to replace the new. The children are what's needed to turn this place around. I just keep thinking about metaphors and things like that. There's so many different ways you can think about the the story in this game. Okay. I guess I should head over, speak with the Canes, maybe speak with the Inquisitor too while I'm here, and then go to Ava's place, since what was her name? Aya? Ian? Ian. Since Ian said that there's strange people around the house, plus. I want to go back there to examine the blood sample that I got from Barack under the microscope. But this episode is looking rather long, so I think I'll end it here. I hope you've enjoyed so far, and when I return, I'm going to speak with the Canes, speak with the Inquisitor, and go examine the blood sample in Ava's place. <laughs>